Good morning, Warriors! Back with another episode of the 1% Club, and uh, I am Bigger Warriors too. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you guys have a nice Halloween today with uh, trick or treating and the kids going around the neighborhood. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everything is going well on plan. Continue your streak, and uh, I know that uh, you're gonna get better and better results each time, even if you relapse. Don't give up, my friends. Keep going back. Remember that we always say that every day is a new day to a wise warrior. So I want to thank everybody for uh, making some comments. I'm going to focus on one from a young lady, which uh, I don't get too many young ladies on the channel, but this is wonderful. Her name is Jolene, and she made some great observations. I want to kind of talk about those a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk about age and energy and those things we talk about. But I want to kind of give some uh, shout outs to Homer. Thank you for your comment, Homer. I think that was kind of, that was, that was good, Homer. And then uh, new subscribers, Satman, uh, March, thank you. And uh, Mike, thank you for your comment. Fresh start. New uh, subscriber, Ghost22, thank you. OJ Air Max is back. OJ, OG, I'm sorry, OG. Thank you, OG. Nizar, thank you. Charles, Francisco, Javon, thank you for your comment. I appreciate that. And Aaron, always welcome. So I appreciate you guys commenting. And uh, it's wonderful to kind of hear comments. And please go ahead and subscribe, comment. I think we're near 730 or 40, something like that. So that's wonderful to see. And we're moving closer and closer to our goal of 1,000. And we'll keep kind of getting closer and closer to that 1% club as we go along. So hope you guys are doing well this weekend. I hope you guys uh, had a nice weekend. Avoided any kind of temptation that you could have and keep moving forward. I think it's uh, great to, to kind of have this type of situation. We can talk about these things and, and talk through these things a little bit. All right, so I was really uh, pleasantly surprised. I do get a couple of these um, when I do the couple of the videos. I do get young ladies talking. I had a couple on this one especially. And I wanted to kind of focus on one from uh, Jolene. Thank you so much, Jolene. We appreciate your comment a great deal. I always like to uh, kind of get the woman's perspective on a lot of these type of things because I do think that hearing it just from uh, male warriors is one thing, but I also want to, you know, kind of indicate there is some truth, and this is kind of why I interviewed a couple female um, warriors the other day, and I wanted to make sure that uh, you guys kind of get all the ideas and things that just come from males, but also coming from females as well. So Jolene has some great comments talking about how the fact that it's really a conscious type of thing that we do, and, and sometimes we realize that sometimes we don't, but she talks about that age and energy really don't matter all that much. It's really more the energy than anything else. And she's, of course, exactly right. And she says it in her words, which is the same kind of thing we've been talking about. We talk about retention. We're not talking about something that is you know age-bound. So it doesn't matter if you're 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 years old, you can still have that kind of energy within you because you're made of energy. Now, as time goes on, if you don't do some certain exercises, right, with the chakras, you could end up kind of not using the energy as much as possible. And I think this is what happens to people who get older. Instead of being as active or more active, they become less active. And so they're not using the energy. And of course, I think in, in many ways, the chakras slow down and you don't have that sort of energy. And this is what happens, I think, when people get older. And age is something that is always going to happen to things because we all get, we all age. But aging necessarily is not necessarily a bad thing. And certainly when it comes to, to um, you know, uh, being conscious about things and looking at, um, at, at dating and energy and, and, and people, women, women, things like that, age really does not make a huge difference. Now, when we look at people, now males are a little different than females in this, of course. Males will look at the female physicalness, but what they really are attracted to is a female's energy. They can look at and be attracted and get the first look at somebody from a female you know, image and perspective. But once they start talking to that female, and once they gather and have a read on the energy, even males subconsciously say, you know, this may not be worth it. And maybe it's worth it in their minds for a one night stand. Maybe it's worth it for maybe a, a few weeks, but that's about it. The ones that they kind of stick with longer, 
the longer the relationships are the ones with the energy. Now they, none of us really kind of say that, but when we really talk about this, this is what we're talking about. I was watching a video from uh, Taylor Rafine. I like watching him once in a while, just kind of talking about relationships and and how men and women view things. And 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 he was mentioning that women really kind of talk about the fact that they're really not interested in the guy so much. They are interested, but to the level that they get validation. And a validation is another word about, it's just another thing about saying, you are basically giving energy to me. You're giving me attention, you're giving me things, you're giving me um, you know, all kinds of mental, physical, spiritual types of things. And so the men who are the utmost givers when it comes to these type of things, really give females attention all the time. Now, if you take that attention away from females, you'll see a huge difference. A lot of females crave it almost like a drug. And this is kind of the thing about attention. But you're giving them attention. And so once again, you're giving the energy that you have to them. And sometimes it's things that you want to do, sometimes it's not. Now, Jolene says it's a conscious type of thing, and I believe that. She was talking about, you know, in her... her uh, you know, uh, text to me, a quote to me, and or email to me. She was talking about the fact that, you know, when she changed her viewpoint of what she was looking for, the different types of men came into her life, and this is really called the law of attraction. And so, Jolene is exactly right on this: is that when you start thinking about what kind of men or women that you want to be with, you're going to focus on those type of women, and by natural, you're going to be just discarding the others. And so a lot of the key is to try to, in your mind, kind of realize what's the type of woman that I want to be with. You know, and I think this is, the, this is really an important type of aspect when we look at this. Because when you see this, you only have so much energy that you want to spend. Because you have other things you're doing. You want to focus on having a person who is somebody who's going to go ahead and uh, be as a companion with somebody with you who is going to kind of share your your you know victories and and accomplishments is going to be there as a companion and someone who's going to kind of help you if you decide to have a family and those type of things but always remember that a lot, a lot of what we talk about here is energy and this is the kind of the key thing that I think you have to keep in mind and Jolene was really kind of mentioning this when it talks about it. and she basically said the energy is not something that is age bound and of course it's not you know, we tend to look at it that way because we look at the outside things. We look at how a person looks, we look at how it looks, but we don't really kind of examine the energy level. And when it comes down to it, especially as the years go on, you tend to focus a lot more on the energy than you do the physical type qualities of a person. Because as we said, everything ages, you get to the point where you change, everything transforms into something else. This is what happens to energy. It's never really destroyed or created. It's just transferred into something else. So even when you have babies, the energy is being transferred into that baby. And those are the types of things that are mysteries to the world. We don't know what, how God is doing that. But God is doing that where he's transferring energy and he's kind of using energy in a way to create people, the babies, men, women, things like that. And those things continue to go on. So when you talk about this, I think it's an excellent type of, uh, you know, observation from Jolene and once again a big shout out to her I think that uh, we have to kind of recognize that you ha you you have some role to play in this it's not something that just happens by haphazardness if you follow God's laws and rules and you understand that God really wants you to find someone who is going to be there and your person will be there but you have to focus on the right things and I think again if you if you focus your energy on finding one person in my book one person and you, you're with that person and develop something a relationship with that person then I think that's a, a whole different type of matter now will you be tempted yes but I think think the senior retention journey you're on helps you a great deal with this because you're not going to go ahead and and cheat and you know look at all kinds of pictures which gets the mind going and all of a sudden now you're looking at behaviors along with those pictures and now you're into affairs and all kinds of other stuff that can mess you up so the thing is you want to stay away from a lot of that stuff, but I think having one person that you can spend time with and be with, whether it's a marriage, whether it's going out with somebody for a while, those type of things I think become very solid and important in your life. 
and that's a crucial type of thing to have. And so I think that that's a conscious effort. And so as you choose things, that law of attraction, which is the energy law, I call it, that attracts like energy to people. So if you're looking for a certain person and you know in your mind this is what you're looking for, well, that's the type of person you're going to draw to you all the time. And I think that on the other side, if you're looking for things that associate with your self-esteem image, you're going to go ahead and draw that to you too as well. And I, don't, I think I've done one before in the Law of Attraction, but I, I think this is a key one to kind of look at. So as Jolene's mentioning this, she it focuses on the conscious ability and the fact that age is not really a factor when it comes to energy. And she's absolutely right. So again, it's nice to get a woman's perspective on this. It's nice to kind of see that, um, you know, we all kind of deal with this. And from a retention standpoint, I think that there was another one I was going to do on women and benefits. And, you know, when we talk about this, we're kind of talking about that women have the same sort of benefits they can get than, they, than men do. The difference is that it, my understanding of this, and I could be wrong, but my understanding of this is that women do, uh, they do have levels of testosterone. But what happens is that during their period of time, during the month, they lose a lot of testosterone. And so they don't, they're not as strong as the males are when it comes to that. And they have their own feminine type of energy that occurs because of this. And so this is what my understanding is. And whether that, that's true or not, I think the idea is that you can tell a difference between men and women when it comes to certain types of energy levels, testosterone, and obviously women have a lot more estrogen as well. So the thing is, is that we look at different levels of energy. But when it really happens, you're really talking about the difference between masculine energy and feminine energy. And as time goes on, you have to make that conscious effort as a male to be around females that have that feminine energy. Now, we talked about this. I think Eduardo had a good comment about girls in the gym, and I think we'll do a separate one on this one. But as women tend to you know, work out in the gym, especially the leg work and all that, they're becoming more like more masculine in their mass and all those type of things and so because of that to a lot of males they're not as attractive because they're losing that feminine type of energy or quality they're highlighting the masculine energy and so when you see that all of a sudden now you're not attractive I mean, why would men want to date men I mean this is does not make a lot of sense of course you know, if you're kind of breaking God's laws and going in, a, in different directions, you're going to do that. But for the most part, most of us are not in that type of situation. And if you're a young lady, if you're a woman, you know, you're not going to focus on males who have all these feminine qualities. You just wouldn't do that unless, once again, you're going to go against God's laws and, and kind of change and do something else that is totally, you know, in my mind, a deviant type behavior. So as you look at this, I think it's important to kind of realize that as you see males and females, you realize they have a certain type of energy. And that energy will be focused really on two things. That male energy that you're looking at needs to be a dominant energy, a person who sometimes you know gets emotional, passionate, gets upset, those things happen. But those type of people are really the ones that are really focusing on being strong and being somebody who is gonna be really uh, uh, focused on high level of dominant energy. The female is going to be more of a a a, uh, a fac not facilitator. What's the word I'm kind of looking for? More of a nurturer. That's a good idea. A nurturer type of energy. That person wants to build and kind of comfort. And I go back to this whole thing about the beauty and the beast. That males and females operate under this beauty and the beast mentality. They should. Now, if that story changes to the point where the world changes, well, then I think we're in a, a whole lot of trouble, as a lot of empires did. I believe you saw a lot of empires changing because they refused to go back to the way things were. They thought this was progressive and new age, and all of a sudden, within an hour, Babylon was destroyed, and the same thing with Sodom and Gomorrah, and all these places that went to such high DV behaviors that they thought they were progressive and new and they knew more than God. So those type of things, to my mind, you know, are things you want to stay away from. But if you are a person who has that high level of energy, 
you should be one of those two categories. And the masculine person needs to have the dominant energy because they need to be able to protect, they need to be able to provide, they need to have that, that energy level. While a female energy needs to have that energy that she's going to be a nurturer and try to comfort and do that. And it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that males can't comfort and, and women can't be strong. That's of course not the case. A lot of, a lot of males who are out there who have empathy and there's a lot of females who are strong. There's no doubt about that. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about energy levels here that really are consistent type energy levels. You know, if you're you're individually and you're you're needing to get things done, you're going to act in certain ways to get things done by yourself. But of course, what you're looking for is to have a person who compliments you. And having two people with ma masculine energy doesn't complement each other. And having two people with female energy doesn't complement each other. That's why when you see these type of behaviors, you'll see that you'll have one person always be masculine and one person be feminine. That always happens. Because that's exactly what the relationship is, is supposed to be. Now, you know, you would hope that's male and female. But the way society is, you know, you see a lot of different variations of that. And you see obviously what happens all the time. So when we talk about energy, it is not energy that is um, age related. It doesn't really matter with the age. You're really focusing more on all these things that you deal with that attract you. And you're attracted to energy. If you're a male, you're attracted to energy that is female. If you're masculine, you're attracted to energy that's feminine. And you're feminine, you're gonna be attracted to high level of masculine energy. And in my interview, that's why I interviewed women the other day, this is why you're attracted to those type of people. Now, once again, we're not talking about attraction in the sense of going ahead and sleeping with people every night of the week or having massive affairs all the time and things like that and having body counts as a lot of these younger people have. What we're talking about is we're talking about having a situation where you're finding a person who compliments you and that person then can kind of work with you and help you achieve your goals while you help achieve their goals. And that's really where the union comes in of two people. And I think this is what happens when people start going out and dating and then one day eventually getting married and those type of things happening. So those are the kind of situations you're kind of looking for and you're looking for that type of thing. But it has to be kind of a conscious thing. And that's why when I used to counsel people all the time, I used to you know, talk to them about you know, what type of person they're looking for. What type of person do they want to have in a relationship? What type of, what type of goals do they have in relationships and things like that? Do they want to have a family? Do they want to get kids? All those type of things. And so that makes a difference in how and who you look at to kind of do those type of things with. So, again, Jolie, thank you so much for your comment. I appreciate that. Uh, and please continue to uh, contribute to the channel. It's always a pleasure to get um, you know women involved and uh, comment on things. And sometimes uh, maybe things they agree with or some kind of disagree. It's always a good type of uh, information to discuss and talk about on our uh, on our station. So, all right, God bless you, Jolie. Thank you so much. Take care, you guys. Have a great day and continue to battle on and God bless you.